I would no Zyro does not go sorties. He does not. Why play a sortie when you can play Bowser? His claw is basically a sword. Alright, Hunger Star opening um, quite an aggressive play. Just running in, throwing out these aerials. Putting on some nice damage. Zyro panic up being uh, to get out of that situation. So I don't get why uh, Hunger went bird. Um, I guess he just does better against uh, Zyro's Bowser with uh, Falco. Like, you no, know, he's definitely had a history of having closer games with uh, Zyro with Falco than uh, Fox in this particular matchup. I think the little difference in just being Fox and Falco really make a difference in uh, certain matchups. Fox and Falco are uh, just as much, if not more, different than Marth and Roy are at this point. Um. Opinion, it, ma it makes me think about uh, the show notes and why Ken is a Neko fighter. No, but I don't think it's fair to compare them. Uh, I mean, yes, they do have like very similar special moves that function differently. It's just that Falco's got more unique normals than Ken does. Yeah, I, yeah that makes sense. So, Hunger doing in, uh, trying to apply pressure, he wants to at least make it so that he takes a little percentage as possible. So that the second stock uh, can be even. But Zyro getting in with a side B, getting 37, getting him up to 37%. Now, one thing you never want to fight is a Bowser with max rage. And unfortunately for Hunger, Bowser has max rage. Yeah. Zyro's been really busting out Bowser. I'm actually surprised he did not go Bowser. Uh, no, I understand Pokemon training with Mac. Yeah, but honestly, I thought he would go uh, Bowser. Not sure what that up he was about. Gonna take Going in for a sick combo, really even, evening it out. There's a word for combos like that. People call them cutscenes. Oh. The Falco up tilt combos. Oh, that's an F smash. Or an up smash. Uh, into uh, up smash. Not sure why Hunger tried to recover. Okay, maybe he just didn't want to get two frame there. Ooh, he might have been able to get a third up there. Going in for the back air. Going oh. in for the spike! Evening this out to just one stock each. Zyro up less than 10%. This lead could easily vanish. Probably gonna call out that roll in there, but he, I guess he was anticipating a roll away. The Hung fire, unfortunately, Hunger is not happy that he got caught in Bowser's fire. Look at that reaction from Hunger. Just he, standing there waiting for uh, Zyro to roll read, in. He read the roll in. That's insane. Going in for the uh, side B. We got a forward air. All right. For some reason, oh, it might have been a missing Zyro, Zyro with the wave land. We don't see that a lot, but I'd be down for some more sick melee techs. Let's go melee. Let's go wave oh, that. Going in, is that going to kill? Gonna kill. Oh. No, it's going to kill that. Even wow. if uh, he would DI'd it properly. Still though, on the side platform, after he just used it, I thought it would have been a little stale to kill him there. Eh, what do I know? Uh, even then, you know what? I still am genuinely surprised. Why does Zyro go for suicide? Like, for certain characters, why does he go for suicides? That's a good question. I mean, they're not as easy to pull off as you might think. Because not um, the opponent also has a bit of control of, over where you go when you do side piece. So it's not as easy as it sounds. That makes sense. Alright. Pokemon Trainer and Fox. Guess he's not feeling the bird anymore. I don't get it. I, I, I don't get it. Me either. Let's see what happens. Okay, so the now traditional hunger versus uh, Zyro with Pokemon Trainer and Fox. We got some genuine high tiers fighting. Oh, would you look at that? I think Hunger's hung almost at 60 without even touching him. That's Squirtle. Yep. I have a very unpopular opinion. What? I think Squirtle is the best of the three Pokemon. I do not think he, Ivysaur is better anymore. Because of the nerfs? Not just that. I, even still, like, yes, Ivysaur could, like, chain up air and up air and up air, but that would not do as much damage as a 0% Squirtle combo. I think it mainly depends on the character. Yeah, like, Belmont, I'm so fine with fighting Ivysaur with Belmont, but Squirtle is a nightmare. That's Going in for a down air. I still think uh, Ivysaur is really strong. Uh, Squirtle, though, I think I just a little bit of time. I need to, like, I've been doing really well against Zyro. Yeah, let's 
Zyro is just looking to clean up right now. Wanting to end this tournament as soon as possible. Oh, wow. I don't think I've ever seen him use Ivysaur's jab before. That's very interesting. I think he tried to read like an approach and then just capture it with the uh, rapid jab. Nah, he was just holding out for the spot dodge. Makes sense. Going in, reading that side B, if he did an up smash, uh, whatever. Yeah, the startup animation has Ivysaur getting kind of low. And if he timed it properly, I mean, even still, it's a long lasting hitbox, so he could have thrown it out a little preemptively and it still likely would have killed. I got the F tilt there. Oh, wait, no, I'm sorry. Someone posted, some Pokemon trainer posted a really angry clip on uh, Twitter explaining the differences between Squirtle's forward tilt and down tilt. And I don't remember what they are. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. But I understand his pain because it really triggers me as a Ken player hearing commentators call literally everything Ken does Crescent Kick. He'll do a forward smash and say, oh, nice Crescent Kick. Oh. He'll do a roundhouse. Nice Crescent Kick. He'll do a freaking neutral air and they'll be like, oh, would you look at that Crescent no, Kick? No, he, he does a Tatsu. Nice Crescent Kick. Yeah, exactly. Like, okay. Uh, you know what we don't use for Street Fighter terminology that we should do? Light Fierce. No, not... <laughs> no, we jump into that. But you know what we need to do? <laughs> <laughs> In all seriousness, for Street Fighter terminology, we don't do F we don't uh, say FAC. Focus attack cancel. F FAC into DP. Focus yeah. attack cancel. The yeah, that makes okay. Nice call up there from Tyro. Yeah. Uh, FAC like. Yeah, like. Isn't it FADC? Uh, forward. Yeah, no. Focus. Focus, at focus attack dash cancel. Yeah. Yeah. FADC. Mm -hmm. But I think people just sometimes just remove the D and just say FAC, like focus attack cancel. Makes sense. Because like. For Smash, we don't need to spend EX bars every time we want to dash cancel. That is true. That is very true. We can just focus attack dash cancel as many times as we want. It's a beautiful thing. Can you imagine, though, if Ryu and Ken had EX moves in Smash? Oh, man. Man, get ready to die at 20 with Ken. <laughs> can you imagine if Ryu and Ken didn't have final smashes, but they had, like, their their supers just as a meter, kind of like Arsene or KO Punch that built That up. would be busted! It would, because they can literally zero to death. You, you like to actually lab uh, the zero to death a lot. I, I see you that. I see you do that. It's so fun. Did it's, Zyro just SD? He did. Uh, he did SD, but Zyro, yeah, no. Zyro infamous for his uh, SDs, but then almost completely redeemed it with the uh, with getting those down there spikes. Yeah, close, but not quite enough, unfortunately. All right, we got the landing back air into the dash attack into Nair. Going in for that. Uh, getting in some nares, going into back air. Alright, so we got the forward air. Okay, hunger recovering high, smart choice. Don't agree with landing with the nair though, because he was just asking to get punished for that. Going in for the nair, like, nair hits hard. Alright, we got the back throw from Ivysaur coming out there. Let's see, catching the high recovery with the nair. Oh, there's the vine whip, alright. Sweet spot, of course, gonna take it. All right, Squirtle's back, so he grabs Hunger once and the game will be even. Why do you gotta commentate his curse? Cause, I'm sorry Hunger, I just hate Squirtle so much. So I don't know what I'm doing actually. Still though, look, it don't, even game. It don't, it don't matter, but yeah, you are right, it is an even game. It's not even an even game anymore, it is in uh, Zyro's favor. Okay, never mind. Man, I really would like to commentate his curse a lot here in, uh, in when me and Argo tend to commentate. Yeah, we, so we going in. Oh, he tried to do the do the fox combo, but it didn't work this time. I don't know if the Nair sent him too far or if you just pulled the trigger a little preemptively there, but either way, it didn't quite work my, out for My him. money's on pulling the trigger too early. Makes sense. All right, so now he's at back throw percent. Maybe even a little more percent on Ivysaur, and I'd say he'd be at down throw percent. Or just call to jump with an up air. Yep. Hunger down to his tournament stock here, unless he can, uh... I, Ivysaur's... I, that's Ivysaur's up there, though. Yeah. Oh! Excellent patience there, coming up from Hunger. Going... Just waiting for the roll. Final stocks. Hunger needs to... Needs to win this, or else Zyro will be your champion for the for this weekly. So, why is Zyro... Why? What was that? Okay, well, there you go. There's the little guy. Going in for Nairs. Into there. Into there. All right, back to the sore. Oh, okay. We got the Nair. Big hitbox there, gonna snuff out any attempt Hunger had at ledge trapping. Uh, Zyra is at 81%, 87. 
Hunger just needs to get a good uh, Nair into up smash, and that will kill, I believe, unless it's been staled out. Yes, that's right. But I mean, don't stale moves reset every time you die. Um, uh, I believe so, but I'm more thinking that if Hunger gets too antsy and starts like really gung hoing those uh, oh, up smashes, yeah, smash. but yeah, he just runs it. Like sometimes it's good to just do a hard read up smash. Hunger taking it to game four. Let's go, Hungy. Hungy's, Although... Hungy's got a law on this play. He cannot afford to lose anymore. Unless he gets the bracket reset, but even then, that is a challenge and a half. Immediately going into town and city that Zyro chooses to going into KK KK Rider? Yeah, go KK. Yeah, this song's called Go KK Rider. Let's go KK Rider. Why? You just won with Fox. Why are you switching to Falco? I don't get it. Why is he switching back to Bowser? Oh, I don't get this either. And they're, and they're even representing each other's colors. That's so funny. All right, Why so. don't we see more Zyro and uh, Hunger in doubles? Um, it's a bit of ABB lore behind that. I don't think I should go into detail about it on the mic, though. Okay, that's fine. We'll, you can tell me later. Going in for laser. Plus, I want to make sure that I have my facts straight. I, so Hunger getting a substantial lead against uh, Zyro right now. But all it takes is one command grab, and it's even. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Going oh. in for a back air, Bowser uh, is a force to be reckoned with. Like, I'm always scared whenever you always go for the back airs. And... Hungy doing his best to not lose the magic number right now. Hungy don't lose that number. Hungy cannot lose that number. Oh! And that is why you don't want to lose against that magic number. He did lose that magic number at the cost. He did get that spike. He did take the first stock. That was a worthy trade-off, in my opinion. Yep. And oh. not to mention, he kind of still is, like, he's at 70%. Oh, he tried to go for a jab block there with the blaster. I actually thought Zyra was going to... Nah, no, he still had his jump. I knew he was fine. Oh, boy. Oh, there, there was... I think Falco's jabs uh, generally go through Bowser's... Um, whatchamacallit? Tough guy? Tough guy uh, armor. Is it actually called tough guy? Yeah, that's the, actually the official term for it. Wow. Oh, Zyra really struggling this game. Oh. oh no, that is the SD. All right, so Zyro still has some fighting spirit left in him though. Oh, he got jab blocked. Hunger shot a few too many blasters there. Uh, one too many actually. At least now I know you could actually get two uh, blaster shots for a jab block. But I'm oh. interested that he did not actually try to do anything off that jab block, like uh, try to read, like try to get like a recovery read. Going for a back air, that's I know that wasn't gonna kill. But Hunger surprisingly getting a really good, uh, he was only on his, I thought he was on the second stock. Nah, dude. Hunger's just been all over Zyra this game. And, and unfortunately, and Hunger getting a kick to the, cooking uh, Bowser in the groin, which, he only had one kid, that was already enough. <laughs> or did he have eight? No, he only had one. Nintendo did confirm that the Koopalings are not, uh, their kids. Oh, okay. Makes sense. How many viewers we got? Ten? Nine? Pokemon That's pretty good. Alright. So Zyro going into Pokemon Trainer, he's like, nah man, okay, I've had, I had my fun, but now it's time for me to go Pokemon Trainer. I'm a zero to death you three times. Hunger sticking and, with Falco. I don't think he has much of a choice in that matter because um, he did win the previous round. Yeah, that makes sense. So we got Bird. Three, Bird versus two, the Turtle. One, and... Let's see how this goes. And, Going in. I don't get why uh, Squirtle gets a Mario sound effect when he does the shell. I don't get that either, and ever since I first played a Squirtle in the Subspace Emissary when I was a little kid, I was so confused and I still kind of am. Squirtle secretly a Koopa Troopa? Like, I could see that. That would make sense. He could totally, he could totally blend in. Day 21, they still haven't noticed me. <laughs> <laughs> When they start dozing, he's just gonna wear the sunglasses and say he's part of the Mario RPG spin-offs. Oh, that's so good. Ooh, oh, yeah, no, this almost is, as good as that downer there. From this Zyro. is Smashville. Smashville. I, I feel like Smashville. It's very easy to frame the space animals. Uh, you have seen with the with Jen and Mac do with the side B, but left forward there was ruthless. Hunger. Hunger really apply. He's trying to fight hard for that uh, bracket reset. He is. He's on the verge of reverse trioing Zyro right now. To think this all happened because Zyro SD'd at the beginning of game three. Yeah. 
We could be well on our way home by now. But uh, we might actually see see it go to game six. Oh, God, I hope not. <laughs> I, I, I hope so. I mean, I love hunger. I just... We I all love know. hunger. Everyone loves hunger. Back, Zyro. back to the game. Uh, Zyro winning neutral with a few straight hits here and there. More so just playing the aggressor. He's not playing patient at all. Hunger struggling to find his footing right now. Okay, that was a good back air from the platform, though. Down tilt doesn't quite work like Fox's, so down tilt attack cancel back air is nowhere near as consistent. Going for the reflector of the razor. This is a very even match right now. Yeah, that um, shine oh, definitely just yep, no, uh, straight up properly di that. It just takes away um, Cyrus uh, zoning from him. Going in for a forward spin. He should have run forward to grab him there. He should, I think Hugger would have uh, spot dodged. Ah. Going in for uh, it was a up till. No, that was up smash. I'm pretty okay. sure. I'm sorry. I'm so used to uh, them having the same up smash. Oh, good man. So. Oh. Wouldn't it be nice if you could reflect fire? Oh wait, are you talking about uh, Hunger or Zyro with the up smash? Hunger with the up smash. Yeah, that was Hunger's up smash. Yeah, I, I, I'm sorry, I just think Fox and Falk have the exact same uh, up smash. Going in for the down air, reading the side B, going in for it there. Hunger is lost his second stock. But Zyro's just one hit away from death though, so it's still really close. Even then, any percentage that Zyro gets at this point is free percentage. Because yeah. I honestly believe that it's going to be a last stock situation. Uh, but Zyro... He needs to apply as much uh, damage as he can. I want to say at least 30-ish uh, percent. Or, you know, oh, he could actually go. just take the whole thing. Oh. Going this, in for 50. Going in oh, for the Vine Whip. He's going to... Oh, oh, he tried to he tried to end it. Yeah. He probably could have just gotten low and up smashed him, honestly, when he noticed that he was going to start recovering high. Going uh, in for the set of recovery. He's reading uh, that... Uh, I'm going to want to be aggressive. Oh, that was a good call out on the jump. Here we are, Hunger, game five. Hunger is at 80% in the last stock situation. Um, I have a firm belief that if Zyro does not hit Hunger within until the clock hits 4:30, then uh, Hunger wins this, and we're going to see a reset. I'm oh, a firm. Sure. I am a firm believer that if you do not hit them at that percentage, then uh, Hunger is going to win this. Which 10 seconds has passed. I am going to assume that uh, 10 seconds has passed, and yeah, Zyro does hit him, but it's not enough. Yeah, you got sour hit of vine whip isn't gonna do much. Oh, going in. Try to read a neutral, uh, a oh, neutral, neutral air dodge. Yeah, neutral air dodge. Going there it in is, for the up smash. The okay, yeah, he and did it. Zyro Zyro, takes it. Zyro just barely wins uh, AVB weekly with the skin of his teeth, even though he was at the winner's side of grand finals.